Hello. He. My name's Gavin. I'm Gavin the gas particle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice one, Alan. That was Alan. Ooh. That was Frank. They're all my friends. They're all gas particles too. Ooh. We're all in a box. And we're here to tell you today about the gas laws, which is closely related to temperature. Now, do you know what temperature is? I'm sure you're telling me it's how hot things are. When the sun's out, it's hot. And when the sun goes to bed, it's cold. But what does it actually mean? If something's hot, what's happening to us? And if something's cold, what's happening to us too? Well, the two are very closely linked. As you can see, me and all my friends are bouncing around in this box, having the best fun ever. Whee! But what does, how does that relate to temperature? Well, as you can see, we're bouncing off the sides and bouncing off the, uh, the, each other. And every time we hit something, there's a collision. And some of our energy is transferred into heat. And that makes things hot. And the more we bounce off the walls, the hotter something becomes. And the less often we bounce off the walls, the colder it becomes. See? It's easy! Hee <laughs> hee! I like being a gas particle. Now, guess what happens if it gets really, really cold? What do you think happens to our movement? Well, as you can see just now, ooh, e, ooh, we're at room temperature just now, ooh, e. But if we start making things colder, ooh, e, and colder, ooh, we are not bouncing around as much as we usually are. E. And if it gets colder and colder, it gets to the point where we stop. And that point is the absolute zero of temperature. All molecular movement has stopped. And you cannot get any colder than that. <laughs>